Hey friends, Mikester here, your humble servant, with the weekly update from First United Methodist Church of Fort Worth. Did you know that every Sunday morning at the First Street Mission, we have volunteers who come and fill backpacks full of food? Why do they do that, you ask? Well, it's for the Food for Kids program. This is a genius way for us to send food home on the weekends for elementary school children and their families. Covers three different elementary schools that we love and support, and we always need volunteers to help with this. So we invite you to go online to register for a Sunday morning of your choice. You'll be able to work for about an hour and you will know that you're making a difference for over 300 families every Sunday morning. Thank you so much for doing that. And our youth. They've been heading out to Lyle Lodge this fall for different retreats. The 9th and 10th graders have their opportunity coming up. It's going to be early in November. And the registration deadline for this retreat is going to be on November 3rd. So parents, look forward to that. Don't miss it. It will be a great time. It's no secret that a diagnosis of dementia in your family or a friend group changes everything. And that applies especially to the holiday season and all the quite literal trappings of it. What can we do differently? What needs to remain the same? Answers to these questions are going to come through the Create Dementia Friendly Holiday Program. It's going to be offered first on Sunday, November 3rd, and then repeated on Wednesday, November 6th. Our friends from the James L. West Center will be here to talk about ways that we can be sensitive, ways that we can celebrate the holidays so that it really is meaningful for everyone. And so we invite you to register online. Seating is limited for this. I know that this is going to really create the holiday season that you would want to have. And we want to create an experience for you on Sunday, November 3rd, in our All Saints concert. It's going to be Sunday afternoon in the sanctuary at two o'clock. It features the music of Choral Union and Adoramus, and also the Wesleyan Chamber Singers from Texas Wesleyan University. It's such a meaningful, beautiful musical experience. And so we invite you to join us that afternoon in the sanctuary. And you know, that afternoon is just a couple days after All Saints Day on November 1st. And All Saints Day follows Halloween. You've probably been looking at this candy thinking, when's Mike's here going to talk about this? Well, we know that you need suggestions for what to give your trick-or-treaters. And we suggest the classics. We suggest Reese's, the Twix bar, Kit Kat, and Snickers. Perhaps the most traditional of all Halloween snacks. And so this year we invite you to be especially kind to your trick-or-treaters. And don't let all this candy go to your head like like I'm doing right now. What, sh what should I give them? What should I choose? What? I'll get my head together before then. And friends, this is all for now. And this has been your moment with Mike.